Hello. My name is Shrighty. And my name is Jeeves Peabody. We're playing video games today. Yeah. One in particular. One in particular from the GDWC, the Game Development World Championship. They mm -hmm. sent us another game to play, and it's going to be awesome. Thank you to the GDWC team and Sketchbook Games for the Steam key for this game. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Do you want to and check out the links? GDWC? Yeah, I was going to say, links are in the description for the GDWC, which like you can go and vote for You know what game you think is going to win. And also the link to get to the game, which seems like a really good game. Mm -hmm. From what we've read, it's it's very highly rated, won a lot of awards. So uh, let the video games commence. Oh yeah, like the video. Only if you like it, and subscribe. Only if you like it. Alright. <laughs> Krusty Tal, I love you. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Professionalism. I love all of you guys. Okie dokie. This is Lost Words Beyond the Page. Yes. He just skipped right past the Oh, yeah, the sorry. Page. No, no, it's, yeah. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Aw, she's giving her granddaughter a gift? Maybe your daughter. Or Maybe your daughter. This book belongs to me. Oh, I thought we had to do something. Okay. All right. Well, it belongs to to me, and I'm just gonna go ahead and decide to end it all right now. <laughs> Can't even give myself. It's like a portal. <laughs> There's just a portal in the bottom and on top. It's okay if I call you that. It's a bit formal. I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. That's you, Journal. That's you! I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. That's cute. And that what does numpty cute. mean? I'm gonna start using that word and I don't know what My it means. My brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. Oh, he's a baby. Oh, yeah. That's so cute. He calls her, <laughs> calls her Isbo because he can't pronounce Isabel. That is pretty cute. That's so cute. And then there's Mom, my top tea drinking buddy. I want this thing. Give me that. Queen, Queen of, of the, the kettle. kettle. Can I like move this again? No. Guardian of the biscuit tin. <laughs> Guardian of the biscuit tin. I like that as well. <laughs> There goes the cat. Ah, I go get my tea and this is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Pinky fact, actually afraid of mice. So it's Lord Covington again. <laughs> yes, it's Lord Covington. <laughs> Although he does attack him sometimes, he just never kills him. My birthday. Daddy, Happy birthday. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Oh, okay. Oh, what? And made a wish. Okay, I'm guessing I need that to get over here. I right, just trying to figure out the game mechanics. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. Starting is half the battle. Okay. So. How do we get that one up there? We gotta stack them. Don't worry about being good. Practice, practice, practice. Boop. Write about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. This is kind of cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, almost fell. Grant always says. A writer writes. A, what about writer writes A and then leave it open-ended because writer can write anything. No. 
<laughs> sorry. No. I'm just like galaxy braining over here. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, doop. Diddly. Doop. Writer. Bye. Okay. Writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. Bro, I gotta say though, the voice acting. Voice acting is so good. And another On thing, point. like. Was a sorry. Yeah, never. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, if you want something, you gotta work for it. You gotta <laughs> oh, yeah. work hard. Even when you feel like you can't, sometimes. Bran said writing is about exploring your thoughts. Boop. It helps you unlock your feelings. Okay. Boop. Oh, that's kind of cool. That shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm standing on right now, but I'll just. Oh God. Uh. Why did you try to catch yourself? I don't know. It's just to be like, you know, <laughs> what do you call that? <laughs> oh, cut this bit out too. What's the, no. uh, what's the MLG? I was just trying to pull an MLG move right there. Put it here and then jump into it. Oh, that's a door? I didn't even notice that. I think it is a door. Jeeves got galaxy brain <laughs> as well. Oh, you blocked it. Uh... Can I jump on this? I thing? think you can just jump down. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> to write a story, but what kind of romance? <laughs> science fiction. Yuck, yuck, yuck. How about science fiction? Maybe I do love science. A drama. Is my humor too weird? My humor is pretty weird. Yana Rama. Um. Well. Wait. Aren't those somewhere. for kids? Where's somewhere? A fantasy story. Okay. Okay. Eureka, that's it. I'm gonna do a 360 on the way down. <laughs> Pure MLG. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time. Ugh. Already no boring. Would be easy. Again. From the top. Not so far away, in the land of... Better. Astoria. Dope. A place yeah, it's kind of peace cool. and magic. Yeah, I love fantasy shit. Like, I've always loved fantasy RPGs and stuff like that. My whole I like life. all kinds of different stories and things. Yeah. Named... Horror is my favorite, though. Robin! Yeah, I do like Robin. I'm down for Robin. I like Robin. Yeah. Robin! Everyone knew her by the bright color. Red. Oh, they got green and they got purple, purple, though. They got green and purple. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go with purple. If you want. Wait, her name's Robin? Yeah. I Red like... would be, like, a better color yeah, for Robin, but, I think like... So. I but, don't know, my favorite color is green, your favorite color is purple. I guess yeah, let's, so go, with, we, let's uh, go with red. So we, we can don't... meet in the middle, yeah. yeah exactly. We can meet in the middle and just be like, nah, it's red. A red dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. Let's go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life. For she was the only apprentice of the village guardian. She was an apprentice of her village guardian. Elder Ava. Elder Ava. Shoop. Everyone was very fond of Robin. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... Kind. I think kind as well. Yeah, kind. As kind as her. <laughs> oh, we got teleported. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh, hello. Hello indeed. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Robin. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head back to the village. 
Okie dokie. Shared Robin's excitement. Woohoo! Guess who else's birthday it is? It's Lord Covington's birthday. <laughs> oh, he's. <laughs> you might really hold his bottom. I'm gonna hold his booty. Yeah, he is Lord Covington's birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Whoever <laughs> 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 gets the best poem, whoever <laughs> makes the best poem about Lord Covington's birthday. I'll pin your comment. <laughs> I don't know if we'll read it in the very next video we do, because we're recording a few videos this weekend. But, um... The ne after this video is posted, we will read the comments, and then read whoever's the best poem out loud. <laughs> yeah, we can do video. that. We can do that. Yeah, that would be perfect. That would be great. Okay. Back to game. Woo! Back to the game. Oh. Good job, Firefly. What did I do? Pick up a berry. Oh, you gotta pull that. You gotta pull that. Oh, okay. Shift is shift. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, remember we looked at the controls? Yeah, but I didn't see that little prompt that just showed up there. Nice and fast. This will be perfect. Okie dokie. Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit further down. Just wow. a bit. That was perfect timing for that jump. <laughs> I love doing that. And... Down! What? Swing, I guess? Oh. Jump. Robin knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. Wait, what? Down. Oh, forward. just crawl, okay. She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. I give hugs to trees. Hey there, fly fly. Don't judge me. I like <laughs> oh, trees. Oh, I'm judging you. Look, you know, trees... I used to hug trees. Trees are, like, cooler than humans most a, of the time. I had a more little slide. I had a friend tree. You had a friend tree? Yeah, I can't remember his name. It's like Ben. Yeah. My great grandpa was a tree, actually. <laughs> we go! I want to go faster. <laughs> Just jumping. The old cargo lift, barely used. Barely used, but guess what? This is the Firefly's voice. I'm taking you up there. I don't know why. <laughs> Firefly's voice. Entrance to the village above. Robin couldn't wait to give Elder Ava a hug. She'd be so proud that her firefly came. Look, firefly. Oh, is this like supposed to be like the fairy in Legend of Zelda? Like, oh. all of the Kokiri get a fairy. Oh yeah, and, that's like, yeah. And enticing Similar. smells of Elder Ava's heart welcomed her. Goes straight on up here, huh? Hello. Happy birthday, Robin. I'm one of our Oops. sacred fireflies. I don't know what I did. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean? Yes, it is time. Would you fetch me that box, please? You're not going to put me in a box, are you? It is. I was sure that Robin would rise to the occasion. It uh, is like Legend of Zelda. The box is down here. Oh, okay. Rise to the occasion. Uh, oh, I gotta be like, boop. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she gave her a journal. And a key, it looks like, which we got put around our neck. Boop. Oh, we can use it again. This will store all the magic words you find. Dope. Some will stay with you. Others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. 
I'll join you shortly, dear. Okay. Uh. So it is like Legend of Zelda. Kind of. Anybody gets a fairy oh, or one of the. I forget. A little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elsa Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Robin a gift. <laughs> Ava's favorite pendant. It's a Legend of Zelda stone. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Goron, Ruby, yeah. Kokiri, Emerald, and Zora yeah. Sapphire. Okay, sorry, I'm being a nerd. Um, let's go with, I guess, yeah, I wanted to do the Emerald too. Emerald, yeah, definitely Emerald. It's my favorite stone when it comes to, like, jewelry. Me too, actually. Now, off you go. Okie dokie, Shazamo. We got it done. Did you ever doubt me? I did. I'm oh, wow. Well. So I did too. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Okay, so it's like you get to play a part in the story. You know, it's like the main character here. And then you got me, which is like, you know, this neutral observer kind of thing. And all at once, Robin was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. It is the village life. Maybe rise those? Yeah, how do I like oh control. Okay. Yeah. Oh how'd you do that? Wait a minute. She's got the power. She has the power. Oh well. <laughs> well, sorry about that. <laughs> that was amazing. The best thing I've seen all morning. I would be upset. I would be like, now I gotta yeah, clean this crap right. up. Like, Thanks. This guy over here is like, God, what the f I was you using guys? those. Yeah. <laughs> Robin loves throwing stones over the rooftop. Like, why? Why? Bad. Robin's an asshole. Hey. Oh, what are you? What? What are these? What? Why? Why are you doing that to that person's house? Well, I mean, think about it this way. Like, if you didn't have video games or computers or any, any electronics or anything like how would you have fun i mean back in the day they used to like execute people Whoa, robin has the book <laughs> i say throwing stones over rooftops a bit better than that right <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> like man we're bored who's this guy what did he do i don't know i uh, stole drunk. a loaf of bread yeah. all right tie each of his Fire limbs to a horse and slap them all on the butt <laughs> at the same time Vill village is bored <laughs> thank you that's right, bitch. I'm special. special. Careful, careful. <laughs> She's special, and you're not. <laughs> yeah, <child>. right. Exactly. <laughs> what a, what a terrible mother. Seen that book for a while, Robin. You have to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. I don't need the gate. Just we got the rise word. Yeah, I'll Wait. I'll freaking, <laughs> yep, I knew yep. it. Ah, fast. <laughs> Oh, look, sir, it's okay if you're not strong enough to rise this. Like, I will, but, you know, just remember that I did this, and you're not as good as me. <laughs> I'll take that back, thank you. <laughs> the great the Robin, gate just fell down. Wait to see the fireflies. <laughs> Soon they bless her as new village guardian. <laughs> For real, though, is, this village is kind of quaint. Yeah, it is. It's cool. I'd like to live in a place like this. Yeah, me too. Be pretty dope. Uh, at last, the tree was in sight. Home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from home. Oh, look, you're vibrating. What? You were vibrating. Oh, I am vibrating. I think you gotta step oh, in the middle, maybe? I'm good now. Oh. And there's Ava. Grandma Ava. Hey, Grandma. Go on. Show okay. them what you can do. That's it. They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. <laughs> yeah. I like, finally, I can sleep. <laughs> timeless energy that birth stars and forge suns. Now she was part of it. Forever. Well, not forever. Like, when you get old. And so Robin became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. I'm pretty sure she, like, leaves this village. 
So like she's like, I'm the new Firefly Guardian. See you later, Fireflies. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, you know? hello, Shannon. <laughs> Just kidding. This time right. of the year. I think you might be right. I play. Ah, uh, I play. Yeah. Anyway. It right. gets dark so early, like the day. It's just an accident, and the night is how the world really works. Stars I just turned it off. And fireflies glowing in the dark. Ooh. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? Plan to someday. Glowing things are cool, especially in nature. Nature has all the cool things. Oh. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, that was cool. On holiday in Wales, Gran and I would go to the beach and look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. This is really cool. Yeah, whoever did the art for this game, yeah. like for the journal, it is really cool. Sick. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles, <laughs> they glowed beneath our toes. That's cool. Gran said it was called bioluminescence. Tiny plankton in the water oh, that is cool. being moved back and forth by the tide. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeet. Wait, so I gotta wait for the tide, I guess? Seems like it. Yeah, there you go. I've always wanted to see those bioluminescent plankton. Me too, actually. Some videos of them, though. The creatures, but it felt like magic. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Ooh. Grant respect. bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. Uh, okay. All right. I guess I'm supposed to. All right. Uh, what Special goes? It's algae either... grow at home. It's like so the home. sand... I think it just... Does the sand go underneath the glass stones? The glass... No. Okay. Sand. Yeah, I think sand first. And... Glass, glass stones. stones. And water. water. No and... house? Yeah. A house. house. Pebbles. Pebbles. And corals. And... Lights. lights. And company. <laughs> I want. I want to make one of these. Yeah. Buy me some algae. <laughs> that is so expensive to please, get. A, please. We do not have the money. Buy me some algae. We took pictures for Grand's <laughs> photo album. For our future selves to remember. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How the tank took ages to fill. It's a big tank. Missed a little bit. How we took turns stirring the algae in. Algae. Yeah. It's, it's, it's How <laughs> happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Graham. Buy me some algae. You forgot one? No, you forgot the thing. Oh, After sorry. Six days, That's okay. The algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk. And ran my finger through the water. My Ship own up. bit of magic. And then they all died because of the oils on your finger. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Until something incredible happens. So I have to keep doing it, maybe? Yep. Easy. Okay. That was Mum. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. Oh no. I have a weird feeling in my Grandma? stomach. Yeah, I think it's grand. Bye, 
Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. That's it. And it's sad. That's really sad. Robin woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. Oh. What's that noise? Elder Ava? Oh no. Robin, a giant creature is attacking our village. Attacking? I thought the fireflies protected us. There must be something wrong. Get to the tree at once. Hurry! What creature could have caused this? And suddenly, Robin was surrounded by smoke and cinders. Oh, crap. I guess I gotta use my word, maybe? No. I can't grab can onto like that. Click on it. Like blow on it or something. How am I supposed to blow on it? <laughs> oh, it's not in the way. As she hurried past the crackling rooftops, her concern grew. Hey, Robin, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. Broken. Oh, there's no space. The lift. Um. Okay. Find your own hiding spot then. Robin, help me out! I'm trapped under this thing! Oh, thank you, thank you! I never thought I'd be so glad to see my feet again! No, no, no! You better run! I need to catch the firefly tree! The bridge was beyond repair. Got a new word. Okay. One step at a time. That's dope. A terrifying noise echoed from beyond the village gate. Robin rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly? Right? But she could not deny the creeping terror. With nobody around to extinguish them, fires burned out of control. Uh, All right. I think extinguish was one of those. Things. Yep. Yeah. Some words will stay with you, others are fleeting. Blaze yeah. crackled ahead. Is that fire? Nearly there. Oh no. No, no, no. Where are the other fireflies? I like the music. Fix. Fix. No fix. Fix. Oh, this one? No. Nope. Fireflies? Please be here. Please be here. Soon, the dreadful realization dawned on Robin. The fireflies were gone. A new determination rose in her. She would find the fireflies. Elder Ava! My words are still I know. Don't give up hope. I'll get the fireflies back. I'll make everyone better. I promise. Go. 
And may the love of this village guide you. Always. Robin took a deep breath. She knew what she had to do. She was the guardian. She would bring the fireflies back home. The earth could fall away beneath her. But she would not be stopped. This was further than she'd ever been before. And yet it was... exhilarating. Wondrous. And terrifying. Fear was at her side. And hope in her heart. But things were about to get worse. Much, much worse. A dragon. Big old dragon boy. Dragon. A dragon. Hell yeah. But Robin would not slow down. She would make it answer to her, no matter what. She would catch the dragon. No, wait! She raced forward. <laughs> no. Am I supposed to be doing something? I think so. Supposed to just jump off the edge. And leapt. Okay. Well, they trained me not to jump off the edge of things. <laughs> Every time I did, I died. Now they, they're like, okay, now jump. <laughs> the journey begins. Yeah, Achievement that's... unlocked. Hello, Jill. Your turn. Okay. We went to see Gran today. In the hospital. Oof. We left Ben Chu. On our neighbor's curtains. Uh -huh. It looked like a big gray fortress. Forgot I gotta move the mic. Gran has a big, cozy bed at home. Nothing like the hospital one she was in. I hate hospital beds. Me too. Lying in there, she looked so small. I don't remember her being that small. Gran's eyes were open, but she struggled to... I guess we're supposed to go over the page and choose way it pronounce. Doesn't she put find? Find the right words. She just couldn't think. Maybe speak. Oh. Speak properly. The doctor said it was called dysphasia. It was caused by the stroke. She's usually so talkative, but now she kept stopping. Mid sentence, as if all the words she could find were just out of reach. Out of reach. I could see it really frustrating her. And she decided, like she does when she's annoyed. And then Gran started coughing. They put an oxygen mask on her. I told her she looked like... Darth Gran! She smiled at that. That reminds me of... Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema. A long, long time ago, when Mum was my age. 
mean, I want that. A grand story. Gran and Mum went to see my favorite movie. Mum fell asleep. But Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy looking smuggler showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're gonna watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. I'll be all her high scores. Got letters coming out of me. For sure. Down there. Gran's a tough cookie. In video games and everywhere else. Hmm. I don't like that one. Touch it. I heard mom crying in her room. I've never seen her cry before. She looked so sad. I didn't know what to do. So I made her a cup of tea. Mum said Gran was getting tired. I said she's getting better. Mum said she felt helpless. I said she was just sleepy. Mum said Gran's going to... I said she's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. All you need is a leap of faith. Will Gran still be Gran after this? Of course, she'll be fine. Fine! Gran is going to get better. Right? I made her smile. That should help. Got to keep positive. Mum needs me to. I'll show Gran my story. Mum as well. They'll enjoy reading it. I hope it helps. What else can I do? I just need to finish my story. So, where were we? After the dragon attacked the village, Robin set out to find the fireflies, leaving Elder Ava and her village behind. Her journey took her to... a vast desert... with a guardian. Who guards it because it is...
sacred. I'm gonna take a break. Well, um, so yeah, that that kind of hit a hit us in our hearts. Like, yeah, <laughs> we had to take a little bit of a break. Uh, yeah, no, this story is really good so far, and also it's you know bringing up some stuff from us. So you know, if you want us to continue playing this and watch us you know, just pour out tears on camera <laughs> for hours on end. Let us know, because we can play more of this for sure. We might play more of it anyway, to be honest. But uh, yeah, if you want to enjoy the video, we'd appreciate it if you left a like. And if you're new, subscribe as long as you enjoy the content. Thanks again to the GDWC for giving us a code for this game. And again, if you want to play the game for yourself, link is in the description. Oh, and thanks to Sketchbook Games for the code as well. Yeah, definitely. Sketchbook Games are the developer, so yeah. Either way, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shout out to my patrons, Billy Bravebird, Running Froggy, The North Star, Doug J. Dempsey, Cleric, Ryan Borowski, Dave Adamson, Dracobound, JR91, K, Ankleweights, DJ Mimsy, Clapton Caveman, King Edward, Austin Gustavik, Moach, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Kitty Sophie, Kit Kulek, Will M, Edward O'Neill, Winter Fang, Infamous One, Daniel Timms, Ray Rafik, Ankleweights, Insubin, Stashu, Madhouse 655321, Richard, Emilio Lara, Radakina, and Betnix.